Ollie, a hard fought point there today against a team battling for their lives. You'd be delighted to get on and score. Yeah, obviously as a striker, it's always good to, to get on and score the goal. Um, I thought the boys, the boys deserved something before I came on. Um, you know, we were pipping their goal and we had chances first half and it just wasn't falling for us with scrappy balls in the box. But, but yeah, I was happy to come on and make influence and score a goal, yeah. You said that the manager brought on Danny Swanson and yourself at the same time, and the two of you combined to get the equaliser. So it vindicates his decision. But uh, you know, you boys will be delighted to have proved them right as well. Yeah, obviously, if you're you're on the bench, you want you want to be in that starting eleven. So you've got a point to prove at every point in training and in the game. So when you come on and you do well, it's, it's always it's always good. Yeah. And as a striker, obviously, scoring goals is what you thrive on. You do that, you put yourself in the manager's thoughts, and again, you know, you'll be hoping that you can force your way into the starting lineup rather than just a seat on the bench. Yeah, obviously it's about being patient for myself. Obviously we've got Jamie and Flo and Flo scored a hat trick the other day and Jamie's been scoring goals, so it's about me, me being patient. Um, but getting a goal there obviously puts me a, a step in the right direction, obviously to try and get in that starting line. Yeah. It must be frustrating though playing against, you know, sort of two sort of banks of four, a bank of five and a bank of four. No space, no real way to kind of try and work yourself into space. How hard is it in these types of games? It's hard, obviously it's cramped in the box. We were Putting balls in the box and just coming back out as waves of that. Um, there's not much space in there, and obviously it's difficult for, for you to get, get shots away. Maybe we could see the goal fell to me and I just took a swing at it and it's gone in the back of the net, but maybe that's the luck we needed in that in that moment because it was, it was a tough game for us. Yeah. I think over the piece, we spent the entire second half camped in Ross County's half. The boys would have been really disappointed to go back down the road with nothing at all from that game. I obviously would have been disappointed if we didn't get anything out of that game, but we're also disappointed we didn't go with three points because I felt we deserved the three points, obviously. We, we had plenty of chances, they, they maybe have one attack and they get a goal, and, uh, but that's football I suppose, we, we get, we get a, a goal, we get a point and we'll go back up the road happy. As I said to the manager, Ross County are battling for their lives at the bottom of the table, you know, they're not going to go out there and make it easy for us. No, definitely not, obviously they've, they've got their own game plan of trying to stay, stay in the division um, and it seems to be working for them in recent, recent weeks, so it was always going to be a hard game coming up here, um, but unfortunately we didn't get the three points, but we'll be happy with going with a point yeah. They did have a big lad called Fontaine in the middle of the defence. <laughs> not too bad a game for them today. I thought, I thought Fontaine's played well. Obviously, he's, he helped me a lot when I was, I was a youngster coming through. So he's a great guy, and then I'm, I'm happy for him that he's, he's playing here and, and playing regularly. Yeah. And now we move on to what the manager describes as five cup finals. We don't know who will be playing. Well, we know who will be playing. We don't know where we'll be playing them or when we'll be playing them. But these five games against the likes of Celtic Rangers, Aberdeen Hearts, Kilmarnock, massive games to look forward to. Huge games, obviously. The fans will be looking forward to them. We're looking forward to them. You know, so obviously, it's a, it's a two-week break. I think it is until the until the split, and then so we'll see what happens there. We'll have a nice wee break. We'll recover. We'll get ourselves going again, and we'll be ready for five big, big, big games.